Hello everybody and welcome back to Master of Orion and today we're going to be starting our first game as the Silicoid which is uh, going to be pretty interesting. I've already, I've played them a little bit. I have right before, well not right before this, I guess the the previous day before this video I played a game as the Silicoid and it went, it went all right. It went, I lost, I lost to the vote because ugh, fucking because the humans, they got really powerful, and then they were, they fucking allied everybody, so it was just humans being humans. But, uh, if that happens again, if the humans are the most powerful ones, because I was facing the humans in the vote the entire game, if that happens again, I need to go at the humans, I need to, I need to take worlds, or I just need to go take worlds, as many worlds as possible, and secure my third of the vote, so I can't lose, which, I, w I think I was one vote away I was one point away from uh, from having a third of my own and making it impossible for me to lose, but yeah, I lost. But hopefully this time, well, let's just find out right away who's in here. This is going a little slower. Come on, map. Uh, no humans. That's good. We got Sakura, we got, ooh. Oh, fuck me, what the human, how did I, I don't get it. I miss things. But yeah, got the humans again. Uh, hello? Oh boy, I might have to restart here, I think I. Oh boy. Oh fuck, all right, hold on. Yeah, I, I hit F12 too many times, I fucked it, all right. I gotta. I gotta close the fucking game and go back in quick. Yeah, if you hit- if you speed it up too much, it just gets fucked. Okay, what the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I have to hit control? What the fuck? Okay, I guess maybe- I don't know if I had to hit control or alt, but whatever. We're, we're ready to go. So yeah, the Silicoid, they have quite a few... They have quite a few, hum... Differences. They, uh, they don't have to worry about eco at all. We don't have to worry about anything. We can pollute the fuck out of all our planets and, won't, and it won't hurt us. But we also have half the population growth from the start, I think. But we can also colonize anything from the start. And I think we're poor in every research field except computers so yeah it, it, it silicon are weird they are weirdos they are just straight up weirdos but we should be able to rapidly expand without much of a without much of an issue without having to get too many um uh parsec techs without many range techs because we can just pick up any planet, and then hopefully all the other planets are within three parsecs, so... Should be able to reach... Should be able to reach stuff much easier. Excuse- what the fucking shit is with this naming thing? Um... But yeah, we have to, the Silicoid, ha we have to win early. Well, we have to set ourselves up early. And a little, I guess a little strategy that uh, I got a comment on one of the early Alkari videos that instead of like go throwing a full load of guys at a plan, I need to go in like piecemeal kind of go a little in, a little in, a little in. So I'm able to come, I'm able to maintain production on this world, but also slowly build up this world and kind of do both at the same time. And usually for like the soccer, I'd do like 10. I'd get, I'd send them, I'd send some there, send 10 there. Then when they get there, send another 10, then send another 10. But for the silicoid, since our population growth is halved, I think I'll just, four seems to be the best in order to maintain population. And we got a rich world right there. That's pretty good. Oop, uh, out of range. So 
So yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna max out the population of our homeworld for quite a while. Just because we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to send colonists to all the other worlds. Just to build them up as fast as possible. While also maintaining my own production. It'll definitely be slow, but we'll, we'll be able to get many, many more planets than everybody else. Well, maybe not. The humans last time, they, they managed to stay, like, uh, equal with me in planets. I guess I just got unlucky and there were a whole lot of Terrans and all that type of stuff. Okay, we got a, a 60 Arid. Uh, that is out of our range. Uh, okay, we can get up there. Yeah, now now the screen is moving faster. I, I guess I had to hit, I had to hit control. All right. Yeah, so we're, we're hovering around sixty. We're sending four every three turns, and then we're getting back up to sixty and going down again. And there we go, we max out factories. Um, I think I'll go crazy. I'll, uh, I'll start pumping out colony ships, and then my second planet that I build up, they will be, um, they will do research. And in the game that I lost against the humans, I did, I did very, very good in terms of, like, building a fleet. Before I got attacked, I still got attacked, but... I did a pretty damn good job of, like, doing, of, like, maintaining a, a fleet before anybody even attacked me. And, yeah, we can get up, get, whoa, god damn, we can get up about, we, we can get out about one ship every four turns. What is this? That's nothing. So we got the Clackons up over there. Well, oh, fuck. There we go. We got a... So yeah, we gotta we gotta get uh, propulsion range techs really early because a lot of these are still out of our range. Even if we got the closest planet, it'd still be out of range. Oh fucking humans! Great. <laughs> Nobody likes humans. Uh, oh, toxic rich. We're, they're not gonna get that tech for a while, so we'll be able to storm that. So we can basically get all the rich worlds. So I mean, usually, usually I'd focus like everything I got on Terrans, but I mean, I can, I can just pick up rich and ultra rich worlds like right off the bat here. So that's going to be the primary focus. So we got a three parsec planet right there. Um, three parsecs there, three parsecs. We should, yeah, we should be able to reach that rich world. So we'll start pumping out and then we're not going to be able to reach that. I don't think any of these can reach that. We'll be able to reach that. So we need three, we need two more colony ships right now. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Four parsecs. Ooh. That, ooh. Okay. Well, that rich world I found, that rich tundra, that's going to be put on ships. I'm going to put ships on... Whoa, I'm going to put that on ships. And I'm going to stumble over my words a little more. Because, yeah. Yeah, 30. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get the proper... Uh, Takes a little bit to build a population, a 70, uh, 70 tundra. Okay, clover, we want, yeah, everything, everything on industry, since that's all we need to worry about. And we'll have another colony ship out, and yeah, we'll be, we'll get that rich world first. Then we'll go get that Inferno. I think uh, that's four parsecs. I won't be able to reach that. 
after we pump out this whale, I think we'll we'll put everything into propulsion. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. 20, 20 more people. That's nothing crazy. So we'll let we'll let Clover build up like that. And hopefully we get a good range tech. Hopefully we get at least range four. Uh, give me range five. Then we'll be able to hit that Terran world. Because, you know, big, big population planets are still very, very helpful. So that should be out in about five-ish turns. Four or five turns. Somewhere around there. Oh shit, I just wasted several turns. And last time, last time, we, we I did not get any good... <laughs> I didn't get any good range... Uh, engines until uh, um, what's it called? Until fusion drives. So I didn't get nuclear engines, sublight drives. So I, I was pretty slow for most of the game. All right, the humans. Okay, they're going for that one. Uh, they can't even. They can't even colonize that if they wanted to. Although those tundra worlds, they're gonna go pretty. They're gonna go pretty quick once they get that tech. And that tech is gonna come relatively early. Yeah, not not very, not many very good techs. So now, we got range five. We'll go pick up Volantis. Uh, we'll go pick up the Arid World, and our scout ships should have increased their range. And we'll go pick up that. Oh yeah, we'll be able to pick up that that seventy Baron as well. Yeah, get that. Toxic, okay, another rich, that's good. Forty nine out of out of sixty. Let's send four there. Four there. Let's get uh, get this rich world up and running as quick as possible. And I'll probably I'll probably use that for research early on and then switch it to ships. Probably switch it to si switch it to ships once Clover is done, which Clover should be probably is going to be done before we even get close to finishing Vox. And we got another. Yeah, we're going for that. No, no, I want that seventy Tundra. Oh no, no, no! Hold on, hold. We need that that ninety five Terran first. Okay, good. Good. They're done. Yeah, now we can put everything into research for them. I think I think I should equalize right now. We we only got one tech done for propulsion, but frankly, I we need the terraforming techs and stuff like that and just everything in general. Terraforming 10, that's really good. So yeah, the silicoid, they can terraform they can use those basic techs like terraforming 1 2 3 4 or, or 10 20 30. But they can't do like atmospheric terraforming or uh, soil enrichment. They don't have. They can't have those. I think. Another toxic. We got a lot of toxics. That's pretty good. No one's gonna be able to touch these. So yeah, we, we're going to be cranking out colony ships for quite a while now. There we go. Build a colony out of Atlantis. The only problem is we're going to be building up a uh, population. It's going to take us a long time to build up population. Oh shit. Clackon's got a ship on the way. Okay, we need to... We need to throw together a heavy ship. Yeah, we need, we need to throw together a he heavy ship and stop them. Stop any uh, any uh, troops from landing, and we need to. Uh, we'll we'll go ten there right away. Um, Kita, they don't have enough people. Uh, well, actually, 
Doesn't matter if they have enough people. Holding Volantis is way, way more important, so we'll... We'll send four anyway. Wait. Where'd that clock on... What is that, a 40, 40 dead? That's not bad. Where'd that clock on fleet go? I need, I need to explore over this way for a little bit. Um, pump out a scout at Clover quick. Um, so they didn't. Okay, nothing got in orbit of Volantis, but it's still, it's still good to pump out these heavy ships early on anyway. Mechlar attack silicoid. Okay, another dead. Switch back to Wales. Get a, that Mako to Volantis. So if we move fast enough, we got 14 out of 35 there. If we move fast enough, we'll be able to like take a huge chunk of the galaxy. Before anyone else can. I just need to choose the worlds I take very, very wisely. Was that world like one parsec away? There we go. We got the 70 Baron. That's really good. Or seven. Wait, was that Baron? That might be Baron. It. I, I always. Oh, shit. Okay, I want that one. Oh, shit. I want that one, too. The fuck? Um. Okay, yeah, that was a Baron, not a Tundra. This... When I see the, the world with the ring, I think Tundra for some reason. Probably because that was the first one I saw when I started playing this. Six parsecs. Okay, we need to we need to pick up this world. We need to get this dead one and then pick up that ocean. Um, and then that jungle, it's going to be a little bit until we get that. But uh, this is five parsecs, so we'll be able to reach that with my basic ships. So if there's a good world here, or any world at all, we'll colonize that. Then we can hit that jungle world. We could go, yeah, we could hit these two, then get that one, then get that one. But either way, it's going to take a lot of colony ships. So yeah, we, we're just going to have to shift population around until, yeah, until we completely grow a lot of these worlds. Because it's not gonna take a little bit uh six parsecs yeah i need that did i already explore that no i didn't terraforming 10 that's good um terraforming 20 we'll go straight to that and ooh, okay we got one of those out. We maxed out that. We'll we'll continue to let them grow naturally. Okay. Yeah, give me... Give me that world. And give me this guy. We can't get him there yet. Uh, get him right there. And then we'll put him in orbit of this place. Just in case anybody tries to land. And they're maxed out. So I'll put everything back into tech. Transport... Another four over there. Um, these guys who are pretty... Yeah, these guys who just got colonized and shit, we're just going to keep them on... Uh, we can probably finish, finish Valances. They're up to 25. They can get some stuff done. But all the rest, we'll just let them uh, build up naturally. So yeah, all, we got a lot of worlds all the way over here, and we got three pretty good ones. But the Mechlar are very close. And I think we're out of our we're out of our range over in this entire sector. Nine, uh, yeah, we're completely out of range. I think eight is our max range right now. We 
So we got that 60 area down there. Radiated hostile. Oof. Ooh, 80 ultra poor. Don't know if that's worth it. There's a human ship down here somewhere. Uh, 25 Inferno, that's not too helpful. Um, well, they're going to make it there in four turns. Okay, so Jesus. Uh, we should be able to get all four of these once we get this one. But I think we'll go pick up that 60 Arid. Yeah, get I want to I want to take that. I want to finish building up that rich world so I can start pumping out ships. We got dirt alloy armor pretty early on. That's really good. Okay, we're up to 30. Um Yeah, start terraforming. Oh, I guess finish terraforming. Oh, some other place was on terraforming as well. Um This these guys. Um you guys back into factories, yeah, that was a bit too long. And uh, they're, uh, they're done with terraforming for now until we get 20, which should be coming up pretty soon. That's the Mako. That scout is at the maximum range about. Uh, oh yeah, the ultra poor. That's 12 parsecs, 10... Okay, so th this place is pretty barren all the way over, all the way out here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we got another colony ship out. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that toxic rich down there. And then by the time we reach that uh, that dead world that connects to the fertile eighty, we should have another ship out. They'll be there. Oh, they'll be there in one turn. Okay, well. Let's wait, let's wait here. Have that ship wait there for one turn, so as soon as we can get to that ocean world, we're, we can. We'll go for it. Okay, we uh, built the colony on the 40 dead. Good, we didn't meet anybody yet, so they don't know I exist. Um... Atlantis sent four. Uh, these guys sent four. Kita. Yeah, Kita sent four. So 12 more, 12 million people on the way there. Uh, they need some reinforcements. Let's go, let's send, whoa, whoa, that's a bit too much. Let's send five. Then Clover. Yeah, look at that. They're only at 54 for God's sake. Jesus. And another, another rich. It's pretty small though. Then we got the sixty arid. Uh, I don't know how we'll fo I don't know how much we'll focus on that sixty arid since it's it, like behind my lines pretty far. Oh, I think we. Okay, we're we're number one right now. Last time the humans got to eight before I did, so I guess they just got unbelievably lucky with uh, all their spawns and stuff. And they just had so many arids and tundra or arids and minimals and shit like that all around that it was just like holy fuck. Uh, eight parsecs we can continue to explore once we got since we got Chaconis. Oh, we'll pick up that that's that fertile step world next turn. We'll start to uh, Oh, we go. No, we can't we our max is our max range is five But once we get that fertile step, then we'll be able to hit that jungle Computer bark two deflector shields Robotics controls. Oh, good. Good. The Baron Rich is done. Okay, uh, give me... Start giving me Makos. One every four turns. That's pretty good, considering it's a 45. That's pretty good. Uh, now head for... Head for that fertile step. We got a... We just, oh, got a scout there. Or we had a scout there.
I'll probably pump out I'll probably pump out one ship from Vox. One Mako from Vox and send it to the jungle world once we colonize this, and then I'll just put Vox on uh on research for the time being after that. Hyper V rockets. Ion cannon. Getting some decent research opportunities here, but being poor in re in being being poor in just about every field takes away a whole lot of opportunities. So we got a Mako out. Um, we'll we'll leave them there, and then as soon as we get, as soon as we pick up that step, we'll send the Mako there to secure it. And uh, this guy. Now we'll go for that toxic rich. Yeah, we'll probably probably start stop shifting so many guys around now. Nah, no, I'll continue to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to have this place. I need to have a good chunk of people here so we can, uh, uh, we'll go five, so we can build up that fertile world, which that fertile world, that fertile world should help me out pretty well. Oh, good, good. Okay, now, oh, we, we're, we're about halfway done. Now we need to terraform it and then build a bunch more factories. Oh, we shouldn't need to build that many more. Okay, so they're, they're going to be there at that fertile 80 in two turns. They're going to be there at that fertile step in five turns. And uh, I guess we'll go we'll go for that 25 Inferno. All the, all the world's kind of in this back end. I'll just let those build up by themselves. I'm not going to transport guys there. Because that's going to take away from all the other production. There we go. I got the fertile world. I'll probably I'll probably just dump all I can from that from Jaconis. I'll probably just dump everything from there into. Oh, I think we got our first meeting. Yep. Hopefully we're not. Hopefully we don't scare these guys too much. They're relaxed with me. Give them range five. Thirty billion credits. Okay, we'll try and get an aggression pack as quick as possible with everybody. And hopefully the humans are not our competitor. If they are, then I need to I need to just attack them as soon as possible and make them not my competitor. Which might end up at war which might put me at war with the entire galaxy, but who is this? Who is that? Where the fuck is this? That was a toxic rich 10. They're not going to get that ever. So the Mechlar have two worlds. Yeah, they got fucked. Oh my god. They got fucked really bad. Um, yep, yeah, non-aggression. If I can play nice with everybody, I can have a whole bunch of small guys against my one big competitor. Of course, that's assuming that I do have one big competitor this game. I throw everything we got to there. We'll be there in two turns, then we'll go try and take that uh, jungle world. Five parsecs away, that might be, I think that's out of their range. If it's not, then I kind of just handed them, well, no, they. that doesn't matter. Again, the AI doesn't use range. Or they have unlimited range from the start. Okay, uh, we got a colony ship headed to that Toxic 10. We got a colony ship headed to the Inferno. We can get there. We can't get there yet. We're going to get there next. We're going there right now. I think we'll, we'll go hit that Toxic 25.
What the fuck? Oh. Oh shit, yeah, my range is five. We got humans. Ooh. Oh, we got stuff up here though. Um fifteen. Ooh, forty rich. Okay, get that. And this toxic too, so nobody's gonna even come close to getting that soon. Um yeah, we'll try and pick up both of those, I suppose. Uh Okay, yeah, we have the Mako right there. Oh, we're going right there. I think I... I should have another scout. Oh, oh, this scout, yeah, we... Yeah. 50 dead, not bad. There we go, we got that world. Uh, Vox, give me, give me another Mako, and then we'll, uh, move it to Hercules right there, and they will have another whale out next turn, and we'll start sending it to that jungle world. There we go, got that, uh, Inferno. Oh, and the, the Toxic Rich, okay. So we, we do have to worry about the Bolrathi in this game. Yeah, but I haven't I haven't spotted them yet. We've met the, we've seen the Clackons, the humans, and the Mechlar. So we haven't seen the Sakura or the Bolrathi yet. Which is good. Uh, the Sakura are the complete inverse of me, just about. <laughs> they have really fast population growth and uh, can completely terraform the shit out of worlds. And these, both of these are fertile, so we'll have relatively, I think... Closer to normal growth rates. Look at that, look at that. We're not even halfway built up at this, and we've had it for, like, God knows how much time. Um, look at that. Clover's not even built up all the way. Good God. Um, that's, that's close enough. Wait, do I have to... Oh, no, I have to build more factories quick. I think, right? Oh, no. 50, we need... Oh, we still need, like... Okay, what? Whatever, we'll build a bunch of factories and see what happens. All right. Uh, go to Hercules. And go back on research. Okay, there we go. 100 factories. Now this place, 25 toxic. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, I guess I'll focus on filling out my... Filling out the bottom here. And just picking up all of these worlds. Uh, I don't... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just go swing, swing up and take all this shit. Make sure the Mechlars can't get anything over here. So Kita, Kita's done. Actually, well, now, yeah, that, uh, Vox only makes 100 credits, 100 research points a turn, and Kita makes 104, so we'll just put Kita on and then put Vox on ships now. Because we're, we're gonna need we're gonna need ships to defend all this stuff and we're gonna need a better drive as well We're gonna need like a like sublight drive at least Oh, oh Sakura, okay Clackons, oh boy, we I think you just met everybody here, huh? Sakura and Clackons 
Uh, give me your reports. Ruthless technologist. Pacifistic. Good. Erratic. I don't like that. They're allied with the humans, too. I don't like erratic. These guys don't even have... Oh, they probably have, like, terraforming 40 already or something. Okay, Sakura, yeah, we'll be, we'll be buddies with these guys. Try to. Uh, I mean, these guys are fucking erratic, so I don't know. If I can get a non-aggression pack with them, that would be a good start. Um, okay, let's... We, can, we got a tundra way out there. We got that's an ultra poor step world. That might actually be outside of my range right now, anyway. But we we got um, we got toxic, toxic. We got that jungle on the way. Uh, we got that toxic on the way. So we got several more planets to take. Oh shit! Who the fuck is this? Okay, the Sakura. That's good. That's good. They're pacifists, so we, we're probably not going to have to worry too much about them going to war. And the Clackons got two worlds. The, the Mechlar got two worlds. That's pretty good. Okay. Alright. So the Clackons aren't going to be crazy powerful. And we got... A, we got uh, they're going to be going after this world. Like, straight away, if they declare war on me. Send... Yeah, go up to... Start sending... Start sending five. And that that's a rich world, so we're gonna crank the shit out of ships as soon as we get that built up. Just like uh, Vox. Okay, so I think both of these worlds can be taken. A 10 rich, a 15. Yeah, 10 rich and 15. And then we got a 20 dead. Uh, sick, we can't get that. Okay, so I think... Uh, I think we'll go for this rich world. It's it's pretty. It's very small. Ten. I think that's the smallest it can be. No, I think I think they can go to five, but very very small. But it's rich, so I think we'll go for that anyway. What is this? Oh, what up? Ah, oh, shit. All right, buddy. Yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, the Sakura like us enough to actually, like, take the initiative and go make a deal with me. Okay, we are neutral with the Sakura, which is interesting. We're neutral with the Clackons, which is good. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll wait until we're, we'll try to get up to relaxed with the Sakura and then get a non-aggression. Um, wait, am I... Wait, what? How long was I pumping? I thought I was... Okay, I guess we're not pumping out ships as fast as I thought. Um, I, do I have a... Yeah, I got a ship on the way to that toxic. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, right now, oh my god, holy fuck. Right now... The biggest danger is the Clackons, because they're erratic. And I have a non-aggression pact with the Mechlar, so I don't think they're gonna be too big of a problem. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Alright. Eight parsecs away. Okay, we need to get all these. We need to put everything towards those. All right. Found ourselves another kick-ass world. Holy shit. What is this? Uh, Empire production. We are... Oh, we're second. So the Borathi and the humans, they're below the... They're, they're under the Clackons, for God's sake, so... They can't be that dangerous. Ah, oh, shit. That might be... That might be very close... We're gonna have to wait. We might have to wait till like seven or eight range techs. Well, how, how's uh this place doing? One Mako in orbit. Well, we can't get there. If I could get a Mako there, we could get a colony ship there. So, 
Only 25. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, it, oh my god, this takes so long to build up. What the fuck? I mean, I am, I am transporting tons of people around, but still, good lord. Another Mako, that's good. I think... I think it's time we just, like, shit out people. We just max out these fucking peep these uh, uh we'll that that's pretty low. We'll leave that we'll leave that. But we just we just need to shit people out. Which actually, yeah, that's gonna give us more production anyway. Um Jesus, okay. Uh oh this fucking place is still going. Good God, whatever. Just leave it. Um, alright. Okay, I think... We got a ship on the way there. 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 Okay, now... I think we'll put, we'll put the capital on research now, because we can't, we can't go pick up any, we might be able to get this world and then that'll fall, but we can't really get everything right now. Uh, what's up to here? Okay, we need to keep exploring up there. Oh, we, the, you got the, got the other scout ship right there, go up there. Okay, so research is starting to slow down, it feels like. It's been a little bit since we got anything done. There we go, got the jungle world, alright. That's gonna take fucking forever to build up, but, you know, whatever. So we got... We, we, we got half the people there, that's good, that's a good start. And those are growing a little bit faster now. Uh, 25. Toxic. Twenty of these are gonna take so fucking long. Alright. Just dump everybody into there. Dump everybody into there. We right, almost got our first Mako to ride in. How are they looking? One cutlass? One cutlass? Okay. How do we, uh... Okay, we're relaxed with the clackons. Let's get a non-aggression, so if they are erratic, they should have to break it first. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I scare them a little bit. Status. Uh, we are... We're alright. Uh, ooh, Sakura pulling ahead in population. I'm way ahead in planets. I'm, I'm number one right now. Number one in production technology. Ooh. Oof, yeah, that, yeah, we fucking suck at technology, that's right. Um, technology, the Clackons are number one in tech. Okay, let's let's trade some techs and see see if we can trade techs. Because we, we need to. Um, ah, oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, why? Why you get so mad, man? Alright, Mechlar, what do you got? They're good with computers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, uh, hand lasers. I'll give you hand lasers for Hyper-V rockets, I guess.
Hydrogen four, that's that I don't need that, that's pointless. Sakura. Can I get like uh I don't know, terraforming thirty or some shit? Ah fuck. Okay, how are these guys all ahead of me but they don't have anything that I can get? What the fuck? Damn. Yeah, we have all these worlds, but we're still falling behind in tech. Probably because most of these aren't even built up. Okay, there, uh, 90, 91. Okay, we'll go back on those. Sixty-seven out of eighty. Uh, that should finish that off really easy. Oh, shit. Okay, that's gonna help. Oh, my God, that's gonna help, too. Okay, fuck. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy, we're gonna have to... Wait, we just got that stuff done? How long ago did I... Okay, God, this is gonna get weird. We're gonna have to... Uh... Oh, boy, this is gonna be weird. We're gonna have to terraform everything to fucking shit and back. Okay. Yeah, we have to... I have to manually go and do a lot of this shit. Holy fuck. Uh, you guys stay on factories for a while. You guys terraform. Yeah, I gotta manually do this because I have so many different planets at, like, different stages of development. Usually, they all kind of stay somewhat the same at, at the same area because I build them up fast enough. But goddamn. You, you need more factories, for God's sake. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, not even one. Not, nothing happened. God damn. Oof. We're gonna be out for a little bit. We're gonna be out. And we just got a new planet. Forty-eight minutes. Uh... 17, okay, we, we span larger, larger than anyone, but we're barely over, we're barely beating the Sakura and pop, population, I think, or they're beating us, actually. One or the other. Okay, now, I think a lot of these, they completely terraform now, and I'll go back on factories, start refitting the fuck out of your shit. Uh, they should be, yeah, they're done. Now, they should be able to crank stuff out even faster. Jesus Christ. I think I think on those it takes like four turns for one population to grow in hostile environments. Because it's halved by default and then hostile halves it again. So one every four turns. That is... Holy shit, that's bad. Ooh, okay, 30. Another wretch. Jesus Christ. Fuck it. I'm gonna go get that one. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Okay, we're gonna refit all, every, the fucking planet, and then we'll go get that. It's toxic, so they shouldn't... They shouldn't be, uh... Able to colonize that anytime soon. Wait, where, what am I at for industrial tech? Okay, I guess we can, we can go pick up... We can do that deal with the Mechlar and pick up industrial tech 8 just to make it a little bit cheaper to refit our entire damn infrastructure here. Oh, Bodice Controls 3. That's going to help them a lot, but they only have two planets. And that also boosts my uh, 
Uh, that'll also boost my fucking my technology rating. And they kicked us out, I guess, for some reason. Two more colonies, my god. Yeah, the silicoid this is the silicoid are fucking weird. They are weird, man. Like all these guys are very similar. They just have slight differences, but the silicoid is like an entirely different type of game. But yeah, look at this. We're completely dominating. The mech oh whoa whoa okay, Mechlar got okay, uh, okay, they picked up a few more. I guess I'm I must have missed those. But if I can ally the Mechlar, yeah, I think I'll try and ally the Mechlar. Calm, okay. They are have no alliances, no wars. They're allied with the Bulrathi. Okay. All right. Yeah, nothing really going on. The so I think the Sakra naturally don't like me. Or the Mechlar. I think that's just a natural thing. Okay, 156 factories. All right, good. Back on ships. Actually... Since we got so much research done, since then, we will... Hey, yo, what? I thought we got Duralloy. Oh, no, did I start that? I started that. Fuck. I'll wait for Duralloy then. Because those ships aren't too bad. We got a lot of heavy lasers on there. All right, we're done here. That oh, Okay, that's good, that's good. That's really good. Okay, uh, phew, Jesus. We got 10 there, we got 3 out of 15 there, that's nothing really to worry about. 31 out of 100. We just need, we need, we need to max out factories at these places, and then use all that production to grow people really quick. Or at least faster. And as soon... Uh, I think I'll cut it as soon as this place is done and we start pumping out colony ships again. It should be very soon. Okay, Toxic Rich. Um, they need to terraform and then build more factories. This place... Uh, okay, we finished factories there. Now we're on research. That's good. That's going to bump our research. Okay, we're good here. And good here. And good here. Okay. Uh, we need to terraform that. Now you guys. Actually, no. Volantis. We can get 391 here. 356. Let's. Yeah. Start pumping out whales. It's closer anyway to these planets. So there we go. Um, And actually. Uh, we got four Makos there. That should be enough to. I guess handle the Clackons. They don't have too many big fleets anyway. Too many big ships. The Sakra. Looks like uh, Banshees. Banshees looks like they're using tiny ships. So that's not nothing crazy to worry about. So. The, uh, very good start. But that's kind of the point of the, of the Silicoid. Is that they always have very good starts. Let's just see if we can uh, maintain that into the late game. Into the mid and late game. But as of right now. It's looking like the Sakura are going to be our main enemy. Um, I suppose I could actually try to... I could try to actually get an alliance with the... With the Mechlar. I could try, but alliances... I don't know. I, I, it seems like you have to put so much shit into actually getting an alliance. But for the AI, these alliances just come and go like the fucking wind. So, I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, good start. Let's see if we can maintain it. So, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So, thank you for watching.